Hey Airsofters, let's see if you can guess what's wrong with this picture. Elbow here with another video log and today we're going to be talking about how to cut an inner barrel. Now I've never cut one myself, but I have all the tools needed and I believe we're ready to go. Here's a list of items that I used while cutting the inner barrel. You can get most of them from a hardware store, but I went to Home Depot to buy everything I needed. Using my file, I scored the inner barrel where the outer barrel ended. Then I took a sharpie marker and marked the inner barrel so that way I would make a precise cut. I used some adhesive tape to mark below the mark I made with the sharpie so that way I would know exactly where the inner barrel ended and the outer barrel was flush. Take down the hop up. Attach the cutting wheel to your Dremel, it's time to cut. But remember to wear eye protection when doing this. You don't want to get metal filings in your eyes. With all the cutting and everything, the barrel was getting pretty hot. So I used my cotton rag to hold it in place. Now that we've just cut our inner barrel, we want to make sure that all of the sharp edges have been ground off. So we're going to switch over to our grinding portion now and grind the inside of the inner barrel to make it beveled and make sure we shave off all of the sharp edges on the outside to prevent BBs from being cut in half or spat in every different direction on their way out. I was trying to give the edge of the barrel a nice concave end, thinking about how some of my Prometheus barrels in the past look. Crowning, as it's called, avoids the buildup of negative pressure on the BB as it travels down the barrel. Took off all the burrs, now it's ready to go. I purchased two different sets of sandpaper, starting low and working my way high. Sanding and filing took one of the two longest things to do out of this entire project. You can sand as much as you want. The longer you sand, the smoother it's going to get. Just bear in mind this is going to take a while. Here's what my barrel looked like at the end of about 15 minutes of sanding. As you can see, it's pretty smooth and concave. And just as a test, I stuck it into my hand. Had I done this before I started deburring and sanding, I'd probably have a chunk of my hand on the table. Cut your cotton rag into small rectangles. A good way to judge is to measure the length of one side after you pass it through the eye of the cleaning rod. If it touches the base, cut some off or you're not going to make it fit through. Just one thing to note when using this polish. This stuff is highly toxic and you want a well ventilated area before using it. When you do use the polish, if you see black, it's a good sign, because you're removing dirt and tarnish from the barrel. If you don't, then stop. It shouldn't be polished. You're done when you run a cotton swab through and there's no black on it. After using Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish, you'll notice that the outside and inside of the barrel is pristine. It is so bright on the inside that if you held it up to any kind of light source, you might have to squint just to make sure that the light doesn't mess up your eyes. Uh, just by putting the inner barrel right here, I pass my hand over it. In fact, you can see the reflection of my hand inside the inner barrel. That's clean. Blow off any extra dust, reassemble your hop up, and you're done. Time to put the gun back together. Now that our gun is completely reassembled, notice no extension. And the inner barrel goes right to the edge. Let's test it out on the chrono. My chronograph is a Garter Speeder 2000, and I'll be using Madbull Match Grade 0.3 gram BBs.
So the barrel cut was a complete success. Now we have an affordable CQB ready weapon with a really decent inner barrel. Tune in next time for another episode of Elbows Vlog.